Welcome, everybody, to Elden Ring! Finally! I've heard your pleas. I've heard your cries. So many people asking me to play Elden Ring on my channel. Like, when are the gameplay videos going to start? When are you going to upload it? I didn't think I was going to. I thought I wasn't going to do a series on this game because it was just so massive. Full disclosure, I finished this game f like five times by now. I've played it a lot. I say I have about 250 hours in the game already. Uh, probably not a lot by some people's standards, but I, I was just so incredibly hyped for this game. This is the most excited I've been about a game since Bloodborne came out. And it absolutely blew me away. The fact that it came out, I had sky-high expectations and it blasted past all of those. It's just a testament to how amazing this game is. If you haven't played it yet and you're remotely interested in it, I highly recommend you go get it. If you're not into the Souls types of games, or the Bloodborne, or the fast-paced, like, super punishing type of gameplay, I get it. You don't need to play it. Um, the game's been selling incredibly well already. But I think it has an incredible world, and I think people should explore it for themselves. I didn't think I was going to do a Let's Play on it, because I thought the game was too big, but now that I've been through it a few times, and kind of know where I'm going, and know the build that I want, and know the types of things, and the bosses, and the movesets, I feel like I can get it in a more condensed fashion. I'm not going to do absolutely everything. There's just too much in the game to do, and... You don't need to do everything, every build. So I feel like I'm just going to do what's necessary for my build and what I feel like is fun. And I just want, I want the series to be fun. I want it to be, it's not going to be a comprehensive 100% playlist or uh, let's play of it. And that's fine. I just want it to be a fun, happy experience for any of you out there who have either been waiting for me to play it or haven't seen anything of the game yet. And you're very curious about it because you've heard so much about people talking about it. And Bloodborne, as I said, is my favorite game of all time. I have a series on that as well. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it because it was very, very fun to do. I was a lot better at that than I'm going to be at this because I know Bloodborne inside out. I've played it like 20 times. I'm a little behind on my playthroughs of this one, but I know what I want to do. I know what type of build I want to do. I've done a lot of different types of builds. Some of them are very strong. A lot of them are kind of overpowered at this point and are still going to get nerfed. Um, but I'm going to do a warrior. I did a, a, a samurai bleed build on my first playthrough. Very fun. Um, I did astrologer on my second one. Very fun as well. Magic is incredibly strong in this game. Um, but I want to do a warrior because I have a very specific... <laughs> Dinkle Bam's back, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Good to see you, Dink! Oh, God, we've seen a little too much of you. Um, I have a very specific type of build that I want to do. I'm going to start with a golden seed. Um, okay, let me just get my character the way I want him to look. <laughs> Why does he look like Giga Chad? <laughs> I think he looks cool. Don't you? I do. Whatever. I don't care what you think. Let's get some lore. Let's get some story going up in here. The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. So cool. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment 
by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. Ugh, the music. The call of long lost grace. I'm getting goosebumps. Speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. <laughs> the loathsome dung eater. There he is, Sheet Eater! <laughs> and Sir Gideon Ophnia, the all-knowing God, that narrator just gave 110%, didn't he? Also have bubble tea. But they were all of them deceived. Whom grace would again bless. For another ring was made. A tarnished of no renown. Show us. Oh yeah, Cross baby. The fog to the lands between. Dinkle Pamp. To stand before the Elden Ring. So there's a lot of lore and being become the Elden Lore. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. There's a lot of lore being thrown at you in the beginning, um, but I'll try and explain it as we're going through the game. Because there's a lot to take in. I have a pretty decent grasp of the story because it's a bit more straightforward in this game than it was in other FromSoft games. Hell yeah. I'm also playing on PC. Um, I've only done one playthrough on PC so far. And the performance isn't great. It slows down a lot, but I want it to... It's easier to record. Oh yeah. Chapel of Anticipation. Look at it, the brilliant herd tree. What I like about this game a lot is that, well, I like the, the lore and the story, but this is the most kind of Celtic any of their games have been. They've had characters and symbology and stuff from sort of Celtic mythology and Norse stuff in the past, but this one is full on like, like the game takes place in like parts of Wales, Ireland, Scotland. It's very, uh, culturally appropriate to me like even even the Erd tree itself it, it's kind of based on Yggdrasil um, but Irish culture has the same kind of tree of life sort of design also I'm wearing Elden Ring by Cloak we were very lucky that we got to do a collaboration with him and I was so flattered we put like that sort of symbol the the tree of life from Irish culture onto uh, Cloak stuff as well and I just love it I kind of want to get a tattoo of it not the Erd tree itself but the Irish one so grafted scion i am not going to be able to beat you but we'll try <laughs> i just joking just joking you're supposed to die by the way why fight it if i'm dead i'm dead but yeah a lot of the accents and a lot of the people's like names and stuff in this one uh like commander o'neill <laughs> And things like that. It just feels very Irish. Very Celtic. Dead. <laughs> Tired of your shit. Torrent! Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all.
One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Nice. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Oh. I'm just a foul tarnished. A dirty, filthy, tarnished man. That's not even my hair. Comes with the mask. I just realized how much this warrior outfit looks like. Like the headdress looks like the old hero from Demon Souls. Nice. Oh, rise! Ye tarnished! Um. We can go down and... Whoa. I've never gotten that item before. Huh? I guess I'm not much of a FromSoft veteran after all. Down here is the, the tutorial, but I don't need to do that. Um, it's just to teach you some of the mechanics. It's, it's a tutorial. <laughs> need I say more? Uh, but I've been obsessed with these kind of blades idea for a number of reasons, because I like... I like power stancing weapons. It's one of the only good things that Dark Souls 2 gave us. Uh, we can come back to this later. But I, I like power stancing a lot, and I feel like there's some really serious potential for these blades. I tested them out with bleed on them, because you can use an Ash of War to get bleed on them, and then you do like 80-something bleed per blade. So if I'm swinging, it's like... Shouldn't it technically be like 160 bleed per swing? And that's a lot. We'll see. Limgrave! Wow. Foul tarnished. So unbelievably cool. Although I will say I don't like the clouds in this area. I think the clouds themselves are okay, but I, f I hate the color. <laughs> Everything just looks like piss yellow. I know, it's an artistic decision, but come on. All right, <laughs> let's talk to Faraway and be on our way. Oh yeah, if any of you have watched uh, Man of Medan or Little Hope, or what was the other one? House of Ashes that I've played, they, they're on the channel, you can watch them if you want, but I mainly want to talk about the curator in the game, the guy with the slicked back hair who talks to you about the story. That's, this, this guy has the same voice, voice actor. Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm? Of course you have, no shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. No maidens? Without guidance without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. How dare you? This guy, I'm like right out the gate. Got my ass beat, and this guy's like, oh, sorry, no bitches? I'm like, dude, come on. And no, I'm not fighting Tree Sentinel immediately. Seems to be the meme for this game, that everyone comes out and tries to prove something to themselves by defeating Tree Sentinel right out the gate. And then they spend like four hours trying to do it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just here to talk to my boy Kale. Who, uh, fun fact, if you've ever played Valorant and you played, uh, is his name Cypher? He's like, where is everybody hiding? That's this guy. You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Perfect. Thank you, Kale. Oh wait, I didn't use the Goodbye. thing again. Bye, Kale. I'll be back in like, literally five seconds. <laughs> uh, I want to buy the crafting book. I don't craft that much in this game. I feel like a lot of the stuff that you craft is... It's more like circumstantial than it is overly useful, but maybe there's like stuff that you can craft that's actually really, really, really strong, and I'm just not aware of it. But most of the stuff I've gotten is just, eh, it's fine. What's up, bro? What's up? Do you want to die by the hands of Dinkle Bam? Nice. Okay. 
Not crazy strong right out the gate. That's fine. We are going to grow and evolve and become Elden Lord. Find some maidens, touch some grace. We may be gamers, but we're cool too. I also love that. I think it's one of my favorite attacks in the game is that running L1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hit four times and the jump is four times as well. This shit's tight. Nice. Does that deer want to go? Are you testing me? I will purge this land of all livestock. Ooh, he gave me a smithing stone. We're off to the races, bites. That is hard about these weapons, though, because they require so many smithing stones now. I think pre-patch, there's a lot of stuff that's been patched and changed and fixed, um, which is badly needed because the game was all over the place at launch. Uh, some things were a little too strong for my liking. Um, but I think they changed the price of all the smithing stones to buy them. Somebody calculated before, if you wanted to upgrade one weapon with regular smithing stones, it cost you like 500,000 runes. Which is just too much. Especially when you get a somber weapon. That's what I'm working towards. We're gonna use these weapons for the majority of the game. We're gonna put bleed on them. They're gonna absolutely smash things. There's probably better weapons out there, but I think it's really fun to use these. It's like just... Challenging enough while also being slightly too strong. <laughs> I don't want to use something that's like overtly kind of broken. Ah! Fool! Don't you know your Elden Lord when you see him? Oh, thank you for your sword. Damn, I'm getting great results already. It must be this wonderful face. <laughs> Let's get a good look at you. Oh, yeah. That's a tarnished if ever I've seen one. That's a foul, foul tarnished boy. Melina, can you come sit at the sight of Grace with me? What if we kissed at the sight of Grace, huh? Just saying. I'm not saying we have to do it, but somebody should. She's so badass looking. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Dude, a Honda Accord? Sick! <laughs> Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? No. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I've got lots of maidens! I can play the role of Maiden. Oh? Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Nice. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Hmm. Take this random lady who I've never met before, who, uh... Yeah, sure, why not? Then it's settled. I have no maidens. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Dude, I'm getting married already? I'm, I'm such a fucking stud. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent! Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Will do. Will do. Uh, thank you, Melina. I don't think I can even level up yet, no. Bye! Um, okay. Put our bad boy Torrent on our thing. Torrent! Torrent's so cool. Torrent's gonna bring us all the way that we need to go. Uh, let's kill some dudes first, shall we? Let's commit a murder. Huh. Ow. Okay, so you have a shield. Whatever. I could have a shield too. 
If I was a p -p 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 pussy, you gotta get your wins wherever you can. Nice. I got a map of Limgrave. Now I can find a frown and become Elden Lord. Not before I stab someone in the fucking hiney. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Jesus, die with dignity. Right up your arse! Same with you! Have a little decorum! Wait, did you really not see me? Is it any wonder I'm gonna become Elden Lord and take over this entire country? You guys can't even see your friends die five feet in front of you. This place has gone to the dogs! When I become Elden Lord, it's gonna be a better place. I'm gonna bring back Topless Tuesdays. Maybe No Shield Saturdays should be a thing, huh? Think you're cool with your shield? I've got tapioca balls. <laughs> but I've got tiny little boy balls. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Jacuz! Nice, he's not gonna know what hit him. Except... Oh, God. I am weak. <laughs> A week. Ah! Don't hit me! I'm maidenless! Do you think they're trying to, everyone's trying to call me a virgin? I have lots of maidens! They go to a different school! Ow. Ow. Okay, we don't want to die to this guy. Uh, number one tip for Elden Ring, you don't want to die to this guy. But you do want to kill him. God, yeah, I do like no damage to him. He's got more range than I do. He's got sicker drip. Whoa. Oh, you're going down, buddy boy. You're coming home with me. Ow! Ow, what's up? What's up? You want to go? First boss of Elden Lord, Elden Ring, down. <laughs> so. My plan is, right? It's simple. Uh, we defeat a couple of things in here, we go to this. We get some upgrade materials. Upgrade our weapons, bada bing, bada boom, shing! And then we head all the way down to Weeping Peninsula, that's down in this section here. And then we defeat the boss in Morn Castle. After that, we come back up, super strong, full of gusto, young, youthful, teenage boy energy. Come into Stormvale Castle, shit all over Margaret's fortunes, and then go defeat Godric. I think that's a simple plan for this episode. I think we can cop shit. I think we can pull it off. Oi. You, you there. Fuck. Could you help us out, Cully? Cully? What? What are you doing, Bach? What did you go and do that for? I was helping. Oh, yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bach. I was pushed out of the cave, told not to come back. No. Whatever. Who did that? I ended up as a tree. Hm. Lucky you came along, really. It happens. You know, your friends kick you out and then you become a tree. I've... many times. Oh. Well, when they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Wow, a mushroom! Thanks, Bach. Couldn't find those everywhere. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while... Sweeten the deal! I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, let's go to the cave. Let's beat up your friends. Probably kill a few of them. That's the white Bach, though. I have to, I'm gonna try and become Elden Lord real quick. So if you can give me like a few days, you can't run from your fate. I'm gonna be such a good ruler of this land. Free death for all. Should we go fight Pumpkinhead? I think we should. He's in a little cave right here. <clears throat> Calm down, will you? Good Lord Almighty. I never liked flowers. I've always said it. 
What's up, pump, uh, pump, uh, pumpkin head? Get out before he beats you. Ow. Whoop. Oh, big man, aren't you? Big man with a big head. I could do that too. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Buckaroo. Easy. Thought at least some of those should have hit him properly, you know? I'm not used to being a character like right at the start of the game anymore. I don't know how to play. <laughs> I'm so weak. Uh, I'm weak. Whoa! Whoa! Easy there, Buck and Bronco! Whoa! Whoa! Easy! Easy there, Biggin! Ouch. Yeah, it's a it's a terrible life. A terrible life to have a big giant pumpkin on your head. And everyone calling you pumpkin head as well. It's just not cool, is it? I feel like everyone going around calling me Grey Mane. Because it's not even my head. Somebody else's. What's up, Selen? Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? <laughs> I love the mask. Uh, I want to learn sorcery? I don't, but I'm just gonna say it to her anyway. Ah, a yen for glintstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Rhea. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very Even well. though there's lots of red flags. I refuse uh, to participate grievances. These are all very nice. Very good. Uh, cool spells. I won't be using any of them. But it's good to have them there. It's good to just know that they exist. They can level up a bit, though. And just get all my flasks back. I'm just going to dump everything into decks for now. My plan is that we're going to use these swords for a long time and then go way later in the game. We're going to get the Rivers of Blood Sword because it's finally fixed. It's an arcane scaling katana that does a lot of blood damage and has a really cool weapon art. Everyone's using it these days, but it was broken when the game came out that it didn't scale properly. And now that it's actually working, it's very, very fun to use. So I want to do that. Oh! Ouch. Oh, you snitch! Sorry! What? So- oh, Slip of the hand! Oh, I did it again! Oh, I'm so clumsy! Ah, oh, damn my butterfingers! Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry, I keep thinking you're someone else! That one I meant. That one was for you. No. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Kill everybody. Leave no witnesses. Become Elden Lord. It's not a whole lot to ask. This is not the right way of going about it. Democracy is here for a reason. But to be fair, they all come at me first. Well, not all of them, but most of them with a sword in their hand want to kill me first. Oh! Don't walk on me. I'm a small boy. I'm fragile. Don't do it. God damn it, the Charizard 2 takes too long. Ah! Nice. Now smash his face in. I never go for the viscerals because I feel like... I feel like I do more damage just by swinging at him, you know? Oh, shush. Calm down. Like, let's see. How much damage do I do with one of these? Th nothing! It's terrible! I did like 500 just by swinging at his head. It's much better that way, especially when you got bleed on. And then you can really start procking that. Oh, yeah. 
Ooh, shiny. Great axe. Nice. Great axe, also not that great. <laughs> now that I've officially murdered everyone in the mile radius, let's move on. Reach out and touch Grace. Your own personal gray sight. Someone to hear your prayers. Someone who cares. Okay, we got 20 decks. I think that's decent. It's a good start. It'll get us on our way. And uh, woo! Whoop we go! Where are we going? Nobody knows. Oh, I didn't actually care about being here. But I will murder all the same. Murder indiscriminate. Everybody must bleed. What you doing? Chilling? Hanging out? Bleed. You, di you didn't see anything. You're next. Ah! Ah! I warned you. Now die with the rest of them. Is that a damsel in distress? I'm coming. As your future Elden Lord, Dinklebamp, I can save anything. Um, is somebody there? Yeah. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Bend your ear. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. Probably the blindfold. And I swear I heard frightful howling from Just all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Hmm. Sounds like a terrible father, honestly. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Mm. Please. I implore you, would you mind taking a letter to my father at the castle? Do I look like a postman? Did he escape? Even if his honor should be the price, please. I just want him to be safe. Fine, but only because it's for the people. Because I'm going to be a beautiful lord. I'm going to be a lord for the people of this place. I can see your eyes. Thank you. Dearly, then please take this. Arena's letter. Deliver it to my father, who remain. Okay. I promise I won't read it. Oh, I can't read it. Man. Oh. A letter given by Arena addressed to her father, the commander of Castle Morn. Gorgeous silken handkerchief, lightly stained with blood. Words can be made out within. Well, read them. What if she's like, kill the person who gives this to you? Kill the messenger. He looked dodgy. <laughs> She could have said anything in that letter, man. As Elden Lord, you're gonna have to be diligent. Root out would be assassins. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I will not have my first death in this game be to dogs. Not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Having flashbacks. No! No! I knew it! Oh god, that's a lot of them, though. Whoa! I'm gonna die to dogs, aren't I? Never! Oh, I don't even know what a dog is! Oh, so strong! Why am I fighting everything? The beauty of this game is that you can just take it at your own pace and you don't have to fight everything. Did that hurt you? Are you upset? Gonna cry to your mom? Oh, poor little giant. No maidens, huh? No maidens, huh? Everybody's out here being like, you ain't got no maidens, bro. I've got tons of maidens. I am with maidens like 24-7. Shit, I thought he was going to drop again. These uh, swords don't have great stagger potential, do they? Any other sword would have taken him down by now. Right up the arse! Nice. 
Excellent. There will be no giants. I will I will allow no one taller than me while I am Elden Lord. There's gonna be a a five foot limit to people's heights. And if you don't meet it, you're gonna to have to start chopping off some feet. Hello, governor! What are you doing? I like your dog. What's wrong with it? Why does your dog look weird? Hey, how, how you doing, bud? Buying or selling? What are you buying? Ooh, you sell smithing stones. I like that. Okay, I almost have three k. I need to keep three k for something that I want down. I don't have the map yet. The map is just ahead. Haha! -ha. Did you know that you can kill the merchants in this? Well, you can kill everything, basically, except the ones that are just protected by barriers. But if you're tired of going everywhere to find merchants, you can actually kill them, get their bell bearing, and then at the round table, you can get everything you want from them at the Twin Maiden Husks. It honestly makes it easier <laughs> than going around and finding all the merchants every time. But you have to try and sleep at night with your consciousness in shambles. I don't know if you can do that. Are you strong enough to do that? I am. I can kill everybody and I'm fine with it. Don't even bat an eye. God. I'm... I guess because it's been... I played the game so much now that I still kind of forget how amazing this game looks. Like, seeing just... Seeing that everything is one-to-one -one with itself. Like, all the stuff that you see in the distance is always a thing in the games like, Oh, you can go there, you know? See that mountain in the distance? You can go there. But a lot of games trick it to make it seem like things are closer. Um, or they use loading screens to get in and out of areas. But Elden Ring is like, everything's rendered in. Like that thing up in the distance, uh, like right above where my head is right now. That's like a thing you do right near the end of the game. That's one of the last areas in the game. It's so far away and yet it's rendered in. Well, rendered, you know. It's so cool. I love that. It's amazing. Let's go get a map. There's Castle Morn. We'll go there soon. Real soon. Um, but I want to. I want to start like. Oh, I'm being attacked! I'm being attacked! Secure the border! Ah! Wow! Look how cool. Ah! Also appealing to my Irish sensibilities. I mean, Dark Souls had castles as well, but this game has castles, bro. Are hey, you like that? Okay, I'm gonna knock you down. Okay, next one. For sure. For sure. Be nice to people. Here, I'm gonna take your heart away. You don't deserve it. I love how intimidating and terrifying those guys are, and then you kill them, and it's like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool! They blended the open world with actual like, real level design really, really well. It's so incredible. This- I think this open world is one of the best ones that's ever been made. Because you explore so organically on your own, and the map gives you, like, just enough, but not everything. Oh, I need to be, like, over here. Where's the merchant's shack? I think it's this one. Let's see what the sword says. The Siege of Castle Morn. A long hero, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. So these like... I think these are a reference to Berserk. FromSoft games have a lot of references to Berserk in them, but this sort of like... Field of Swords thing is very, very Berserky. And now, of course, the... Sadly, the creator of Berserk has passed since the game was like in development. He passed last year. If, go read Berserk, please. Especially if you've played this game and you like it, and you like how it looks, and you kind of like the world, and other FromSoft games as well. You will absolutely love Berserk. It's so good. Ever, ever since I, play, or I read Berserk, I can't find any other stories that tickle that itch. That's not a phrase, but you know what I mean. Scratch that itch. They just, they just don't exist. Can we also talk about how amazing it is that Torrent can double jump? I... This is the best horse. I mean, he's not really a horse, but... This is the best... Oh, God. This is the best, like, horse-type character in any video game. 
Being able to double jump, having so much control over him. It feels so good to play. I love it! More of that, please! Um, okay, I put down too many markers. I just need to follow this one. I'll come back and do a lot of this stuff after, but... I'm, I'm really just trying to find my build. Little monkey men! Oh, why wasn't I able to get off my horse? Oh, hit him! Oh, he, he's, he's shaking! He's crying and screaming right now! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I am <have> warrior! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and I'm off again! <laughs> oh my god, look at that! It's so, I mean, it's... It's a, an environment, but... It's so cool, and seeing this guy in the distance... These things are called walking mausoleums, so they have a big giant building on their back. But they got legs! Oh, so dope! It feels so much like Shadow of the Colossus right now. Being on my horse, running around with my sword drawn. Big creature like that. Okay. I did it. Nailed it. You can get them to come down if you knock off all their barnacles. Okay, this is just not working. Oh, he's gonna walk on me. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Ow! Owie! Why'd you do that? Why'd you walk on me? It's so weird to me, because you come across these, like, little churches and little castles all over the place. And that's... I think this appeals to me so much, because this reminds me of being a kid back in Ireland, where I would literally just run through fields, and you would have, like, little stone buildings like this, still just in the middles of fields in different places. Like, nothing really happening in them. They're not... They're like this, where they're just empty and dilapidated and everything, but... It was so cool to do that as a kid. To just discover these little places as I was on my travels through the fields at night time. Or not night time. <laughs> I got carried away with my own story. <laughs> um, but like, the, at the back of my house was just fields upon fields upon fields and I would go traveling through them and like, each sort of day or week, I would kind of push it a little further and see how far into nature I could get, while also not getting lost or killed. It was so fun. It felt so carefree. Now look at me. I'm an adult. I pay taxes. So now I have to do it in a video game. I really love the sound design of these. The fact you hear the bell just like, bonk, bong, as you're going. It only actually bongs when they're moving, and then the closer you get to it, then it just... Just overwhelms your audio senses. Okay, we're not having the same shite happen again. It probably will happen again. Be gone, barnacles! Oh god, that barely even touched me! Oh! It's happening! She coming down, boys! <laughs> so cool! And now it's just a building here forevermore. Dude, the first time I saw this, I was floored. Again, very Shadow of the Colossus. Oh my god, these textures. <laughs> Yeesh. And this is what's inside. So you can't really use them yet. You get... Whenever you get a soul from a boss, you can bring it in here to duplicate it. So you can get... If a boss has two weapons or two spells or something that you want to get, you can get both of them that way. Um... Or you can just get the soul again and use it again and get double the amount of souls or the double the amount of ruins for it to be able to use them. 
But yeah, those things are awesome. I love them. I just love giant monsters roaming around in environments. And you as a tiny little speck to them. Interacting. It really gets my heart going. Wait, where are all my runes? Didn't I have like 3k? Does somebody steal runes from you in... The Weeping Peninsula? I know they do in Stormvale Castle because the guy... Steals them whenever you die. He steals like a chunk of them. No, that happens here too? They don't- they just don't exist. So I want to buy this, the Lost Ash of War. Uh, let's sell these because I'm not going to use them. Um, I could put blood loss on my weapon. Oh man. I had the amount! Not going to use this. Not going to use this. Not going to use this. That'll come in handy later. Thank you! I hope that I've added to your budding economy. I hope that you can afford some doors and some windows and a ceiling and heating and... Let's face it, three grand is not going to get you a whole lot these days. Am I right? Ooh, we got a painting! At the Artist Shack. These are cool because you can look at the painting and then you have to find this place. Which I think is very fun. Um, I know where this one is very easily, but... We'll try and look for it. Or I'll totally forget. <laughs> as I do. Yeah, I, I meant to say as well that... I guess I haven't really talked about it in videos yet. Maybe I will by the time this is up, but... I got diagnosed with ADHD recently. Shocking, right? <laughs> Everybody watching my content was like... Uh, yeah, duh. Um... But I finally... Yeah, that's where I need to be. I finally got the diagnosis for it. I finally saw a psychiatrist about it and got them to look at me and they were like, yeah, your textbook, ADHD, by the way. I was like, okay, got it. I'm not medicated for it yet. I hope to be. But it made so much sense now. Every time I look back now at all these videos that I've done or series I've played and I just bounce from idea to idea and I... I forget what I'm doing. I forget about my inventory. I forget what somebody just said to me like two seconds after they said it because I'm just not paying attention and I'm thinking about something completely different. It all makes a lot more sense. And it just feels... It doesn't change my life too much until I get medication for it, if I do. But it just puts everything into so much perspective. Now it's like, finally, I have clear validation for why my brain is such a mess. <laughs> Ah, oh, these clouds are cool. I like these ones. I just love that you see the Erd Tree's magic everywhere. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I don't want to talk about too much story right at the beginning. That's not really. I kind of want to let the game sort of develop on its own first. Is anybody there? Hello! Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Best character in the game. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um... No. No, the, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished... Discrimination. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler <coughs> of Limgrave. Young Tarnished, I would have a boon of you. <laughs> okay. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A there it is. commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb bad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Aren't we all? Yeah, I will. I'll take it back. For the low, low price of being your best friend. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? <laughs> My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. <laughs> He's so fun. I love that he talks about himself in the third person. He reminds me a lot of Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter. Just like so confident in yourself. Um, should I turn down the music? Is it a little too loud? I have it on four already. Never mind. Um... Okay, we can get a map here, and then Kenneth's thing is here. What I want for my weapon is in his, uh, castle, in his fort. It's called the Bloody Slice, and it is going 
to be tight. Be careful around these here mist woods. There be bears. Big ass bears trying to kill a tree. Oh god, he's terrifying. Even just like the rumble of his claws. Oh lord. Ooh. Um, I want to go here. And then we go here. I love being able to put markers down. They're so handy. I also like that they show up on my compass at the top and not on my map. Oh man, look at this! Just the way the lighting hits this and the way the fog hangs in the air. It's so pretty. It's not, like, the most gorgeous video game of all time. It could be to some, like, artistically, yes. Absolutely up there. But, like, technically, there's a lot that is to be desired, like, texture-wise and whatever. The, the frame rate's not great a lot of the time. It's better now, though, actually. It's also better on this PC than it was on my other one. But I think just the artistic vision that FromSoft have every time is completely unmatched. Their sense of scale and the, like, little dude looking into the distance at this mad, vast world. There's so many open world games out there. There's so many games that try to do these things but never accomplish it. There's a lot of games that would have this stuff just as a skybox. And then FromSoft are like, bro, hold my sake. And they actually build it in, all rendered. Like, that Erd tree is actually there. It's crazy. Um, we're here to get my physic. Oh, I didn't put an extra flask in my thing. I started with a golden seed and then didn't even use it, but we can do my flasks now. The wondrous physic is one of the most important items in the game, and it's just hidden here at this church. Uh, can add a charge. That's why I started with a golden seed, because you can add a charge to your flask to be able to heal more. Nice. And now mix my physic. What do I have? Enhances charge attacks for a time. I'll just do half my health and stamina. It's gonna change completely though, later. Now off to the fort of Kenneth Height to be able to kill this recusant, this bloody finger. It's so awesome being under the miner tree, like one of these ones just in the environment. The bigger tree is like way at the top of the map. This is just, this is two areas, the two starting areas so far. The map gets huge. The game's so much bigger than I thought it was too. I thought I got to the end of it when I was playing it the first time and I was like 45 hours in. Uh, I got to like the herb tree and I was like, okay, ready to end the game. And then the game just kept going. I think my first playthrough was like 72 hours. And the final boss took me like four hours, four and a half. Because I was basically trying to do it with just dual daggers and no summons. Shit was hard. I will be summoning in this playthrough though. Because the summons are fun. And I hate this like discourse about like, should you summon or not? In the FromSoft community and in the gaming community at large. It's like, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> The game is designed to let you play the game however you want. That's why they have so much build variety. But people get so, turn into purists about the game saying like, well, the other games you can't, there's no summons in them. It's like, yeah, but this game has them. The game's built around them. Some of the bosses are just stupid without them. Because I'm, I'm someone who likes the punishment of these games and I like going through the game first time through without really summoning too much because I want to learn the attack patterns. I want to get that feeling of like, I, I want to fight a boss for like four hours and then finally overcome it and... But that's playing the game technically on hard mode. And then if you want to play on like normal mode, you play with like the summons. And that's not a bad thing, you can do whatever you want. So cool. Alright, I'm at your fourth, Kenneth. Fort Kenneth. When I'm Elden Lord, none of you are invited to the round table. None. Huh. Oh, I can't wait to upgrade my weapons. They're gonna do so much damage so quick. Like, they're gonna upgrade a lot in a short amount of time. Ouch. 
Always with the pumpkin head. Thank you. The little demi-human actually took his attention and made it easier. Shut up. Whoa! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Out of nowhere! Was he aiming for me and he killed the demi-human? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, he's not dead! <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry! Screw you! <laughs> Jesus! Give me an old fright! You guys are just squatters! In the great house of Kenneth Height! I'll not have it. Okay, I'm not going up there yet because I'll summon the bad guy. The big bad, who is very tricky. Get out of here! Stinkers. Oh man, look at that. Dude, that storm veil in the distance. That's so badass! And then right there is the Tower of Limgrave, and over there is the Tower of... Is that the one next to the capital? And then that's the, the mountaintops of the giants all the way in the distance? I mean, that's a way late game area, but... I don't think saying the name of it is really a spoiler. Look at him, Jay chilling up there. Just his tiny little head peeking out. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you! Nice. Now this fucker. Come on down, bro! Ha! Uh-oh. Oh, God, I thought I was gonna die. Oh. Okay, well, everybody's dead. The fort is now Kenneth's again. Uh, let's head back to him. There he is. Yeah, I'm so glad they added these. When the game came out, these icons weren't in the game. So actually being able to see where people are now is such a huge difference. I can't wait to see... You'll probably look back on this in, like, in a few months and be like, Man, can you believe that they didn't even have that in the game back then? Like, the game's gonna look so different so quick. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I did it, Kenny! I'm back! You happy to see me? Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? I did! Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. Thank you. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward. Go ahead. It's all yours. What is it, Kenny? Wow, it's nothing. Thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> I wonder if it actually is any good. It's a faith dagger. Give you quick step. I mean, all daggers do that. Whatever. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. Sure. What's that look? You don't believe me? Oh, I do! Well, under the earth tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. You're a good guy, Kenneth. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Have sworn to uphold it. Just uh, my you... votes with Kenneth. Dude, don't make me Elden Lord. Make Kenneth Elden Lord. Oh my God, look at this game, man. Oh, the dynamic time of day. It makes everything so pretty. Like I've played the game so often already, but I'm still shocked at it every time. Kenneth, I'm back. Wait. Ah, uh, Kenneth! Kenneth, using commingling with the demi humans was possible! They're trying to kill me! I mean, not very well. They haven't landed a hit on me at all, and they're all dying very quickly. But, Kenny, why? You said cohabitation, commingling. You. I trusted you! What the hell? Ah, you, is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste, and not that awful Godric. 
but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Okay, we can find them. It could be me. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great king now. Okay, we'll true... we'll figure it out, Kenny. I must begin my search for a true for a true heir to Limgrave. All right. We can do that. I am all about that. Um righty, let's head back to the church church of Ella and upgrade our weapons and then put our ash of war on. This Ooh, Ronnie. tarnished. May I have a word? Oh sorry, Rena. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? I do have a spectral Call steed. The spectral steed named Torrent. Sure do. How do you know his name? Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. A spirit calling bell. Now you can summon. Imagine you could go through this whole game and not come back to this church and you would never get the spirit calling bell. You would get all these summons and have no idea how to actually use them. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. To do with th as thou wishest. Kind of sounds like you're trying to sound more important. She's so cool. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Wow. Oh, we'll meet again, don't you worry. She's pretty important. We're gonna go, I think I'm gonna get her ending for the game. Uh, cause it's the coolest one. I like it the most, at least. The, the stuff that you have to do to get there is pretty fun. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I'm not able to strengthen both. No. Still need a lot more smithing stones. Okay, at least they're upgraded a tiny bit. That's, that's enough for now. And then Ashes of War. Put Bloody Slice on this. So what the Ashes of War do is, if you've ever played the other games, and you could infuse stuff to be like a lightning blade or a sharp blade or something, it just changes the, the scaling of the weapon. Uh, for this one, it adds arcane scaling. You could make these uh, keen as well with a different Ash of War and then they'd scale better on decks. But I want to get the arcane scaling because now I do causes blood loss build up of 59. So every hit is a 59 added to a bar that you don't see. Um, but 59 is pretty good. It's it's higher than like the base Uchigatana bleed, which I think is 50. Um, but the more I scale these up, it'll get up to like 80 something per blade. And then that'll carry me towards like the end of the game. And then I'll get the Rivers of Blood Sword, which is a katana that does... It doesn't do more blood loss buildup, but its weapon art is dope. Um, and also it makes it, makes these things kind of like scale better and are stronger. And then now I can do, did I put it on this one? I can do this. Whoosh. Oh, whoosh. Now we can go do the tunnel that's nearby. Uh, Cause then we can get a ton more smithing stones to be able to upgrade with. The only problem with this build is that... Calm down, lads. The only problem with this build is that it doesn't do much to the miners in the tunnels. Oh, that gonna hurt. Oh, ouch. You guys wanna see a dragon? Hell yeah! <laughs> God, that's so cool! All right, Akil, I'll be back later. I'm not ready to fight you just yet. Oh, but I will. Watch this face, Akil. Take heed of it. Look at it. It's gonna come back and destroy you later. 
I guess I could... Do I have enough to wield this two-handed? Yes. I guess I could use this in here. It's not going to be great. Never mind, it's awesome! Because <laughs> my blade... These guys are basically immune to blades. So you have to do a different type of damage. Now I'm doing blunt damage. It's very Demon Souls. Oh, we're getting so many smithing stones in here. I love it. Ugh, I hate rats. But they hate me even more. It's boss time, lads. We're going to have to go in and do some smacking of some legs. It's okay, with my trusty Morningstar, we can do anything. I love those moments where you're like, wait, what is it? <laughs> Give us a roar. I'm gonna punish that. Oh, dumb dumb. Don't roar in my face. Well, I missed. Most of that. No, I didn't. Nailed it. <laughs> you didn't even stand a chance. You didn't even get to swing your weapon. <laughs> I dare say that's the best I've ever done that. <laughs> that poor guy. Sitting in there for years and years with his little, little gold pile. And then some foul tarnished comes in with no maidens and wrecks his whole life. We should be about ready for Castle Morn now. Surely. We've upgraded our weapons a couple of times. We got a bloody slash. Nothing can stand in our way. I mean, what are they gonna have like 20 dudes and a big like flaming pyre full of like bodies every... Oh. I can do it anyway. <laughs> Come here. Where's the dogs? Okay. Little tougher than I thought. I thought my swords would be way overpowered by now and everyone would just die because they're scared of me. Oh, what's up, Pumpkinhead? What's up? I can kill him before he even gets a chance to attack. I bet you. Well, that's a bad start. Yeah, there's that bleed proc. Do you see that? I guess I didn't explain what bleed actually does. Bleed builds up a bar that you can't see, and when that bar fills, a massive chunk of health gets taken off, but it's a percentage of their health. So, if enemies have a massive health bar, then bleed takes a massive amount of health off them. So you can make some really crazy builds with bleed later, and if I can get bleed on both of these weapons, which I will, then you'll be doing a crazy amount of bleed every time. The bar will build up a lot, and bleed right now in the game is... It's very, very strong, and I feel like they're gonna nerf it probably eventually. Because they did in Dark Souls 3 when the game came out. You can get the Karthus Curved Sword and put some Rouge on it. Oh, that stuff was so fun, but completely broken. <laughs> <laughs> God, his swings are delayed. You have a lot of health. I don't think he bleeds very easily either. Never mind. <laughs> That's why I love bleed, man. I love the the uncertainty of it as well. Like you're that risk reward of like, should I do one more attack? Like, oh, maybe he'll bleed then. Maybe he'll stagger. It's just fun. Oh, I forgot I have bloody slash as well. I could use that, but my health is not really the greatest. Hard to hit a moving target, isn't it? Spin move! I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Go down like the foul piece of toilet trash that you are. <laughs> so mean to everybody. Oh, I don't mean to be. But it's hilarious. Nice. I'll help you, buddy. Who's the underdog in this fight? Probably this guy, since it's two on one. All right, you guys fight each other. Come on! I I've just made this so much harder on myself for no reason. 
Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. I'm gonna die. I wanted to- I just wanted to do memes. Oh! That was sick! Dude, you see me? I was like a samurai! That's so cool! If you- if I do the attack again, um, I don't want to do it now because it does use up health, but it like slices your hand and then goes whoosh and sends out that blood against everything. I don't know why my blood does more damage. Maybe I have some sort of special blood. Infected blood, maybe. Hey! This is Arena's dad. Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Wow, a twig! <laughs> Thank you! Give the letter. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain. Dad of the year, everybody. The tri Dad of the if year. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. Okay, I can help. I mean, I've cleared out most of the castle already. I feel like I'm pretty good at it. I can help, no problem. Don't even worry, Dad. Arena's gonna see you in no time. Sneaky, sneaky. Can I knock you off the edge? Oh, so close. Fall. Yay! Good job. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to fight this guy, though. These guys are like... They're not too tough, but they just do a couple of things that... Oh god, the fucking reach on that is nuts. Oh god, I almost fell off. They just do a couple of things that scare me. I could just do that. Woohoo! Nice. Bye! Woohoo! Down he goes! God, I'm so talented and awesome and handsome. The character, not me. I would never ever compliment myself. Are you crazy? We can get a medallion up here though, or a talisman, whatever you want to call them. Probably talisman, since that's what they're actually called. Um, so it enhances final hit of chain attacks. It's not really that useful to me, but I don't really have any other good ones right now, so. The other one is that it enhances roar attacks. I don't even have any roar attacks. Woo! And a woo! We're going down over here to the left. In there. That's where the boss is. You see him? Right at the top of my head? That's him. We're gonna go kill him. A misbegotten. I do like that new addition that when you're out and about, you can kill little beetle dudes like that, or if you kill a group of enemies, um, it refills your flasks to a certain degree, depending on what you do. And I think that that's such a smart addition to this game to keep you out in the field. Because one of the things that I was thinking about before the game came out was how they were going to transition that Dark Souls type of gameplay to an open world. If you have to go from Sight of Grace to Sight of Grace over and over again. But they did such a good idea with it. Okay, yeah, you guys all come outside so I can sneak up on that other guy. What? God, rats, they just do more damage than they should, you know? It's like the easiest looking enemies in the game sometimes turn out to be the scariest. These guys all have wind-ups for their attacks, and you can be faster than them. But then the rats come along, and they're like, ang, 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 ang. Or the dogs. They do so much damage. All right, let's go fight. Excuse me, jellyfish. I have a date with destiny. How else am I going to become Elden Lord? We gotta fight. This one might be tricky, though. This guy's... He's kind of RNG. 
And he can do a lot of damage very quickly. But go doggos! Save me. Take aggro whenever you can. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, immediately fucking me up. His hits really hurt. I'm not doing as much damage as I thought I would be by now. No, one of my dogs died, damn it! Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, if it's just me left alone with this fucker, he's definitely gonna kill me. His attacks hit like a truck. And he's fast! Take aggro, please. Oof, I need to be doing more bleed damage. I don't think I've bled him at all yet, actually. What? That hit me? What? Oh god, I'm so dead. This guy's way harder than I remember. Okay. I, I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. I can do it. What's he gonna do? Kill me? I have no health. I have no health. I literally, no health. Is there anything I can do to get health back? Oh god. I have a dream! Give up on your dream. Yeah, baby! Don't give up on your dream! Stay in school! Let's go! Oh, baby, my nipples are twisty, freshy! Look at that health! I don't have any! It's not there! Zoom in! Zoom in further! And again! I have 12. 12 health. Oh, 12 health and a giant erection? That's all you need. Think what I have to what it takes to take on the dragon? I think I could do that now? I think I could. I... I haven't found a dragon that I couldn't beat. I can do it. Dinkle Bamp is strong. Dinkle Bamp has what it takes. The dragon's moveset is easy. It just depends on if my damage can outlast my health. Hit me with your tail. This fucking camera angle, though. Oh, I pressed dodge, but I had no stamina. It's okay, I can do this. It's easy. Was that a bleed? Did we get a bleed? You can run away all you like, but your problems are still gonna chase you. You can't run away from fate. I could attack his head and do more damage, but this is how I know how to do it. Huh. Oh! <laughs> what a bleeder! Dude, where are you going? <laughs> the fight's over here, bro! Stop being a coward! Let's see if I can get it. Oh, come on, charge. Ouch! Oh! Okay, flap, flap, and land. Okay, run away like a little baby. Like a silly little baby. But you go down, baby! You go down into ground! You dare! Let's go! That was
That was dope. Dude, fighting dragons is awesome. Makes you feel so powerful. Now can you show up, Melina? Now am I good enough for your round table? I've killed a dragon. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm strong. And still nothing. She fears me. She fears my raw talent. Toot your horn. Bow, bow. So I assume then you can't get to the round table. I thought as long as you killed a great enemy that Melina was like, let's bring you to the round table, bud. I need to go to the round table because I need to duplicate my Ash of War. So, maybe if I go to Liurnia first, because I do want to have two Bloody Blades fighting Margit. Because I think it would be hilarious to see how much bleed damage you can do to him. Oh, hey, Doggo. Uh, but let's go over to the giants over here first, because I, I want to get the smithing stones that you can get from them. Oh, this game is so cool. Ooh, the graveyard. Let's get a bunch of runes. I'm going to be so powerful. Because the, the great thing about the game, too, is that... Well, great depending on who you ask. Is that you can get past... You don't need to fight the first boss to go to the next area. And all the other ones, like Sekiro, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, you need to kill the bosses of those areas to be able to progress to the next area. Which is fine, and it works for those games, but in this one, they're like, open world? No, you can just skip the first bosses if you want to. You can't finish the game without killing them, but you can at least make some progress. And I think that that's cool. I need to break this statue. I'm fine with any of you noticing me, honestly. Yes, you. Come on down. There you go. Attaboy. Attaboy, big lad. Thank you. Okay, so we got five smithing stone ones and a smithing stone two. That's going to be a lot for us to upgrade with. I remember in the closed network test as well, you could get up to those guys at the giants and... Rude. Every single giant you killed gave you the potential of getting a smithing stone. And I was like, man, I'm just gonna... S I think that actually every single one of them gave you a smithing stone. So I just sat there and I farmed them and then I had a really powerful weapon in the alpha test. You could also get... I mean, if any of you have played the game, if you know Ordovis's greatsword, it's like a greatsword you get at the end of the game in the capital. It's like a Crucible Knight blade. And you were able to get that where I got the Great Axe earlier. It was kind of silly. Okay, nice. Both weapons now are plus three. So Bloody Scimitar, Scimitar plus three and Scimitar plus three. I can't get them any higher without going to the round table. Because that's where you find the smith. So let's see if I can game the system. I also want to see if my knowledge of the game pays off to do that. And to show you guys some some tricks. Because normally you go up there into the castle. But you can actually come up here to the right. And there's an area to... <clears throat> to bring you past the castle. But there's a finger re reader lady here. Hello. You. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. It's kind of gross, but okay. Bless you. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse. Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide. Will do. And reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Will do. Oh, but the bridge <clears throat> is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Yeah. Only Stormvale Castle still stand. It sure does. Thank you. Weird lady. I can see your feet. 
Ew, what's inside of you? You're just like a ball of goo. Ugh. Why did I look at that? Broken bridge, huh? Well, that doesn't matter to me. Because I have a noble steed. I didn't know this until, like, my fourth playthrough. That you could just skip all of Stormvale. Evelyn came in and told me that it was a thing. I was like, what? I mean, I like Stormvale. I'm not going to skip it completely. I'm just doing it now to get to the round table quicker, but... That's so cool that that's even a thing that you can do. Because I remember finding this other side of it over here. Like, this side of the map. I was like, there's nothing down here. Why would you come this direction? Now it all makes sense. Shut my fucking mouth! Big reveal. Big reveal! Lyurnia of the Lakes! Fuck yeah! The coolest looking vista in the whole game! It's so badass looking! Like, all of that is explorable. Every single thing that you see. There's the capital up by the right, the Erd Tree. Up right on top of my head, those spiky rocks is Mount Gelmir. Rhea Lucari is right there. So cool. Can I go to the round table hole now? Maybe I do have to beat Margit. I don't know. Oh! Nope! It worked! Forgive me. Nice! I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, Bring me. gathering place of tarnished champions Guided by grace. Very well. Okay, I'll go too. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Oh no, human contact. Oh, and people said I had no maidens. Dude, my maiden game is strong right now. Round table. Sick. Let's talk to some people. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Okay. Allow me a word of advice. You are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place. Nuke. Ah, so harsh. You recognize him from the start of the game? Gideon Ofnir. And this is Roderica. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Roderica. I'm a recent arrival. Isn't this place impressive? Yeah, it's pretty cool. The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Aren't we all, Rodrigo? Aren't we all? This is cool. I'm also playing offline, um, so that's why you're not seeing any notes anywhere, but this thing is normally covered in notes. Because you can, like, get on it and walk all the way up. When I got the game early, I played so much of it and I put notes everywhere, so then when people actually started playing the game and the game came out, I was getting note appraisals, like, every two minutes. And when you get a note appraisal, it fills your health bar. So I was in the middle of boss fights and I didn't even have to heal because I was just getting so many note appraisals. Um, but this is where we need to be. Master Hugh. You're a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. 
And then Ash of War duplication. So the lost Ash of War that I bought from the guy for 3k, you can double up your bloody slash. And then I can put that on this one. So now I have two bloody scimitar plus three. So now both of them do blood loss buildup of 60. So it's 60 each hit and each L1 I do is two hits. So it's like 120 bleed damage every time. The girl you bought here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Hmm. Unless I'm wrong about the bleed weapon, by the way. I, I don't really know how the stats work, but from my experience, it seemed pretty cool. <laughs> I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You're a prisoner? No. Don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. True that, Science, bro. it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Ooh, who's he talking about now? I love that he's like smithing all these weapons. Like, there's literally a great sword next to him. It's like, can I have that? <laughs> can I have all these weapons? I have to go find that out in the wild. There's another great sword right here. Two of them. Dude, this giant axe. I would be much better off if I could have your weapons. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I hate that you have to talk to Rodrika and then talk to him and then talk to Rodrika and then talk to him and then she does something. A bit much for me. I'm still looking. For You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. Apparently. I don't know if I do have this talent. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly. Oh, will you? You'll ask Master Hugh there. to teach you? It's funny because I have to go do that, Rodrika. Why do I have to do it? Back already. No matter. The girl. What about her? Would Would you watch over her? God, it's like being in secondary school again and having like talking. So your friend likes this other person, so you have to be the mediator. Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? I think you're great. Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. So you do doubt me. Alright, I'll go talk to her again. Come on, guys. You can- you guys can get together. I'm basically like the Tinder messaging service. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Okay, great. Now that you guys are all set up to talk to each other, that's wonderful. I'm gonna go back here and go kill a god. A demigod, but a god nonetheless. I'm kind of exceed, excite, uh, exceeded. I'm kind of excited to see how this build works against them because I have high hopes for it. He's not too tough. I'm gonna try him without summoning either because I feel like, I feel like summoning kind of messes things up sometimes. When you want to draw aggro away from you, it's great, but for a boss like this guy, when you kind of like know his moves a little bit, it kind of makes them more unpredictable, you know what I mean? Um, do I have enough for a level is a question. How much do I need? 39k or 39, yeah, 3900? <laughs> 39k? This isn't going to be enough, is it? I do this every time. I overcommit to using these. Oh, oh, we might actually have enough. We should. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's get one more little tiny piece of vigor. So now we have 624 health. Nice, let's go! You can summon Rogier here as well, if you don't want to fight him alone. But when you summon an NPC, it 
I don't know if it doubles the health of the bosses, but it definitely makes them harder to balance it out. <sighs> Look how absolutely fucking awesome that looks. God damn, the lighting here and like the wind effect and the fog and smoke and everything, it just adds so much atmosphere. I also love the foul tarnished. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. He's so cool. <laughs> Hell yeah! Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margaret the Fell. So tall. So tall. So tall and handsome. Oh, whoa. Okay. It's not going great. Ooh, big bleed. That was nice. I like that a lot. Maybe I should summon my wolves. Cool. Oh god, I fucking dodged, but it didn't work. It sure does, Margaret. I got lots of warrior bull blood. Lots of warrior bull. Oh, shit. Ouch. Ouch. Oh! <laughs> I didn't think I was that close to the edge. <laughs> you didn't kill me. I chose to leave the battle myself. Okay, that was from my own volition. All right, let's summon wolves. <laughs> Draw some aggro away so I can heal every now and then. Oh, I also have bloody slash that I keep forgetting that I have. Do a jumpy. God, I keep running out of stamina, actually. That bleed damage is so nice. God, it kicks in so often. Now, come for me and not them. Warrior blood. I'm very cool. Oh yeah. And then I don't do the visceral because I get the bleed proc. Damn, if I had full stamina bar, I would have killed him. Okay. Oh, bad move, bro. That was your downfall! Let's go! Bye! So long! You didn't kill me the first time! I chose to die! Well, you. Big words for a dead guy. I love the colors of this uh, castle. It's kind of like the gold trimmings on things. I mean, gold is kind of a, a theme throughout the whole game because of the Erd tree being golden, but I don't know, there's something about the lighting here that makes it look so, so good. But yeah, that was Margit, the first boss. Um, I mean, nothing too tricky. But. 
He says some interesting things, like trying to become Elden Lord, and he wants to extinguish your flame, and he just want you to get there, because he's one of the demigods. And the whole point of the story is that uh, Marika's children, the demigods, uh, after she shattered their, the Elden Ring, they all got pieces of the Elden Ring for themselves, and they fought amongst themselves, and they all just... They don't want anyone to really to become Elden Lord except themselves, but they're not going to fight each other. So it becomes this, like, family politics stuff. And I guess that's where... Because George R. R. Martin helped write some of this game, and he set up the outline. I think a lot of people expect him to have written everything, but I think Miyazaki said that he, he developed the outline and sort of the premise, and maybe some of the characters' interactions and family lines, because some of the family lines in this are very Game of Thronesy. Um, but yeah, more to come. There. Come over here, would you? What? You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? Mm hmm. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You breach the castle undetected. I could do both? <laughs> I'm looking up and I'm like, what are you talking about? Thank you. I'll use the main gates. I mean, I'm not really going to use this. I just like it being open. I can get this item, though. If you get those other items, you get attacked. And now I can just use this anyway. But this guy, when you're walking through the castle, if I die, he steals some of my runes. So I'm going to steal some of his life. Everyone keeps looking down at me because I'm a tarnished. <coughs> now, I know that's going to upset a lot of you, but he gave me his bell bearing, and that's far more useful than he would be later on. <laughs> the gates! Open the gates! Of hell! These feckin' birds. One of the worst enemies in the whole game. They're hard to hit, they do a lot of damage. They're just so annoying. God, I can't even kill them with one, like, set of swings? Are you for realsies and cereals right now? Huh! Got him. <laughs> Not really. Oh god. Ow! You're fucking facing the wrong way when you jumped! I hate them! They stink! Run away! Ow! They won't let me run away! They want blood! They have a taste for it! They want my toes! Run! Run! Maybe I should stand and fight, actually. Running is the coward's way! Okay, you're aiming at the wrong things all the time. There we go. One bird down. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah. Ouch. Nice. I am the better warrior. You may have two blades on your feet, but I have two blades in my hands. That wasn't cool. That's not a good comeback. But see, the problem is there's three of them over here. Can I bait them out one by one? Maybe. Nope. Oh, God. They suck. They suck so much. Oh, my God. I have no fucking stamina ever. I'm not used to dual wielding things like this. It takes up so much stamina to use them. Hit him! Oh, my God! Fucking hell, what are you doing swinging at the fairies? Idiot. Well, I'm- it's me. I'm the character, so I'm the idiot. Just get the item and go. It's not worth it. That item was worth it, but the fight is not. Just get out of here. They suck. Worst enemy in the game. Clearly. By far. Name a worse one. I dare you. 
Oh, good Jesus. Yeah, who's king of the pigeons now? They go down like a ter teriyaki chicken. It was cool, shut up. Hey guys, you sleeping? Wakey, wakey. There's a murderer in the castle. I'll go get my claws, but I don't really... I don't want to use them for this playthrough. I did use the claws a lot on my first playthrough, actually. I've always wanted to use the claws in Dark Souls. Especially in Dark Souls 3, and every time I use them, they're always kind of crap. And then this time is the first time I feel like in any of the FromSoft games that the claws are actually a viable build, like, end game. I think because bleed is so strong in the game, and they're like dual weapons causing bleed. But if they ever nerf bleed, then the claws are going to be useless again. I hope they don't, though. I kind of like that it's it's really strong. It makes sense. Also, more and more people are getting into FromSoft games, especially because of this. It's like the best-selling one. They've ever released. They got like 12 million copies sold in three weeks. Which is, it's, that's an outrageous number, by the way. To sell 12 million copies in general is crazy, but in three weeks it's just bonkers. Um, another reason to kill Gustok at the start of this area is because of this guy. If I come in here after opening up that door, Gustok will actually have closed the door. Oh my god, roll, roll, roll. Oh, I can actually bring you out here. That's much nicer. Wait, can I... Hold on, can I cheese this? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. And then one of these. Nice, that looked cool! Dude, that looked fresh as hell. <laughs> Sick. Proud of that one, like that. That's cool. Yeah, they're good weapons, but if anything has a shield, you just bounce right off. I don't have any, like, posture-breaking ability. That's fine. You take the good with the bad, you know? <coughs> Curve Sword of Talisman. It's also kind of cool. Oh yeah, I have two slots now. Enhances guard counters. I'm uh, I'm gonna do those so often, dude. You're not even gonna be able to speak with the amount of guard counters I'm doing. Ah, I don't fear fire. I eat fire for breakfast. Gives me horrible acid reflux. That looks so cool. Taking a bloody fire bomb to the face and then just being like, Ugh. love it. Love that. Love that. Uh, I'm bringing this piece of board with me. It's mine now. I'm actually going to use it for protection. Oh god, my board. <laughs> what am I going to do now? I have to go up against eagles with flaming barrels. Just run. Just run. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, king. Oh god. God, they're killing themselves. Kill them all. Oh lord, everything's going wrong. Nice! Epic, epic. Okay, we're hurting. But we're looking good. Careful, there's 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 birds everywhere. How you didn't kill yourself with that, I'll never know. Camera. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Jesus! After all these games, FromSoft, and you still can't get the camera to work. Ooh, Warhawk's Talon. Actually got his leg. Nice. That's a cool blade. Oh, it doesn't do any bleed or anything, though. I feel like if you're not using a weapon that has a status effect in this game, it's just going to be so difficult. If you're not doing, like, frost or poison, or if you don't have any sort of, like, magic attack, you know? Okay. Roger, what's up? Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer. 
as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. Mm -hmm. well, is I'm it not love? Footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? No, I'm looking this for love. This place is bristling with not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in my. I'm here to defeat Godric. I'm here to kill the guy who owns the place. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then. I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy. I'm tarnished, like you, but unstill. I'm privy to what you care to learn as a fellow tarn. Battle arts. Uh, no, I'm okay. He sells magic stuff. I'm not really good at that. That's not my bag for this playthrough. But a sound man, Roger. Pretty cool, dude. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We can at least get that off. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah. A little health goes a long way. Hell yeah! That was clean! And I got a sick helmet out of it as well. Can I wear it? Oh, <gasps> yes! It's got a little dragon on the helmet. And I've got long flowing hair now. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. My long blonde hair flowing in the wind. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a dirty bastard down there. An ugly abomination of arms. It's so gross. All the arms and legs hanging up as well. It's gross, but also kind of cool, kind of hot. <laughs> we won't do anything with that. Doggo's down there. There's another asshole over here. Oh, can I get around? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, I'm so talented. Oh, so talented. I've got the same hair as you. There can be only one. hi -ya! Okay. Like, can you chill the fuck out? My god, talk about an overreaction. He ruined the whole place. He destroyed the whole table and almost all the chairs. Where are people going to sit down now? Do you think we could run past them? Yeah, easy. Easy. Watch this. Ooh! Run! Don't hit me, bro! Woo. Oh, he's pissed. He's so mad. I got away from him. That's what you call the unbearable gift of incredible talent. Let's level up, shall we? Um. Oh, 5,200 a level? Easy. Watch this. <laughs> that was overkill, but it looked cool. Okay, nice. 27. Got it. Easy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just passing through. I'm just a wandering tarnished. I'm I'm a foul, dirty tarnished. You don't want anything to do with me. I look bad. I'd probably taste bad. Hey, fellas. You guys didn't see me, right? Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> I can do it too. Where's my back? Oh crap. Oh, that only hit one of them. God damn it. What is the point of living except to suffer? See, they're just they're just little rats, but god. The amount of attacking they can do so back to back is crazy. Let's open up one of these doors. I don't know what's in here, but I just want to get far away from my problems. I think he had a cookbook, actually. Ooh, Godslayer seal. Probably good if you're a faith build. I miss the mimics in this game. I wish some of the chests had mimics, but none of them do now. Sad, they were so cool. This is the start of the castle, by the way. That's the door I opened, and these are the turrets that were going to shoot me. Isn't that cool? That's where Margaret jumped from. 
And he was like, foul tarnished. Ooh, what's up here? The amount of times I go around the house just saying that. I walk past Evelyn and I'm just like, foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. The voice acting in this game is godlike. The FromSoft games have always had decent voice acting in them. They always really suited the world. But in this game, it's just a, a level above. Oh, there's two hard boys. Okay, bye. There's just some of my wolves for here. Come on out, buddies! Kill! Kill! Shut up. I guess these are my backup. I was like, where's my backup, huh? Oh god. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh god. Some very angry men want me dead. <laughs> Guys, I'm just here to kill the king. Like, no big deal. I need to get fussy about it, you know? Well. And. Hi oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm not doing as much damage as I had hoped. Like, that's okay, I guess. I guess two swings is fine, actually. See, sometimes it's not two swings, though, and that's not fine. God, I love you, wolves. Thank you. Thank you for your service. You'll die for what you did to my dogs. Look at all these bodies. So much loot! Oh, another painting. Beautiful. Beautiful. The line work. Incredible. The, the Kuroskuro method. Uh, lots of sumato, sfumato as well. That's just beautiful piece of work. I totally get art. I'm gonna hang that in my foul tarnished house. I'm gonna find a room in the round table hold and I'm gonna put my paintings up. Oh, I got the exile armor. I didn't even realize. I love the look of this one. It's not as cool as my starting gear, but I do gotta beef up a little. Golden Seed! Let's go! Love them! Oh, feck off, birds. I don't want anything to do with you. Be hey, Nefeli! You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. That's cool. Uh, you want to know a fun fact? The lady who voices Nefeli, this character, is the same one who voices Tracer from Overwatch. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. Mm. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. See, I'd love to, but you just make the boss harder. I have to like, whoa, four times smithing stones? Hell yeah. Um, if I summon her, she's cool and all, but sometimes she dies like early on and then I have to fight the boss with like double the health bar on my own. It's like hard mode. I don't want to do that. I'll fight him on my own, thank you very much. With my wolves. Should we try him? Yeah, why not? Oh, big boy. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Ugh, all the fingers. Well... Cool. I am the Lord 
of all that is golden. Have you noticed all the demigods have golden eyes? Because they have the, the hue of the Erd tree in them. Well, I haven't fought this guy in a very long time, so let's see how this goes. I should summon my wolves for this phase, because they'll die really quickly in the second phase if I save them. Oh, lord. Oh, that bleed proc. Oh, God, where are you going? He's killing all the wolves anyway. That's like the new thing for Elden Ring versus other FromSoft games. That they have these like long ass wind ups to their attacks now. Okay. You can get more hits off before he changes. Ah, oh, I was trying to get a bleed off. Ugh. Oh, he's pissed. Uh, truest of dragons. Lend me thy strength. Ugh, the sounds. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh oh. Oh, God. What are you doing there, bud? I'm running away. Oh, crap. Okay, that works. I never know what he's fucking doing. So many moves, and he's so wonky looking. Ah! Okay, let's just be patient. Take our time. That big one. Doesn't he pull it up as well? Ow! Oh. I thought he had like a pull-up animation. I could have got in and got some swings off. Ah. I'm so scared of him! I should just get stuck in. Oh god. Oh god. Dang it. Dang it. Come on, you're bound to be close to a bleed. Okay. Ow, that still hit me! What the hell? Oh. Yeah, baby! Man, that bleed was taking forever! We'll return to our home, bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> I'm good, thanks. Hell yeah! Let's go, first try! Nice! Dude, so sick! What a cool boss fight. Ugh, and I love the arena too. They've gotten so good at the spectacle of their boss fights, it's nuts. Oh, my heart's pounding and racing. Let's fucking go. And now he's there. Just a tiny little man. This is kind of all that's left of him. That's not grafted onto him. He would like take bits and pieces of people and just attach them to himself. To make himself a better lord. Um, but this is kind of all he was underneath it. 
That guy that I killed at the start of the area, the merchant dude, where I got his bell, if you keep him alive, which I'm, if I did, he would have just sealed me in and stolen my runes, but he, at the end then, he'll be like stomping on Godric's head. I guess you could kill him here then, but I just never want to take that risk, you know? Wow. I can be king now. Look, <laughs> I'm so tiny in this giant throne. Um, but this is Godfrey. Uh, you hear about him in the lore a little bit. He's the first Elden Lord. So there's statues of him everywhere. Now we're back out here! At Lyurnia of the Lakes. So I got here a little early, but I'm glad I did, because their weapons were strong enough then to do that fight. God, the amount of bleed you're able to do with this is crazy. Don't mind if I do rest, and then I'll talk to that lady next time. I'm gonna leave this episode here! Thank you guys so much for watching it. That is a huge chunk of the start of Elden Ring done. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I hope that it was fun to watch. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe so you can be up to date for all the episodes that are gonna come out. I'm glad I'm playing it. I, I thought about it a lot and I was like, you know what? I I want a game like this to exist on the channel. I, I wanna... When I look back in like 10 years, I'll be happy that I did certain games on my channel and this is definitely one of them. But I didn't want to do it first attempt on video and like get frustrated and then have everyone be like, oh no, you're supposed to go here and do this and kind of have things spoiled for me. Because everybody would have finished the game before I could have if I was doing it that way. And I think then having everybody be like, well, this person is this and this character does that and the story is this. And I wanted to experience it all first time myself on my own. And I'm glad that I did. So now we can just kind of have fun with it and do whatever we want. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me for the first episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.